Do you have a plan to buy rosemary because you've been hearing of rosemary all around? Stop. Don't buy. Because you know what? You can get rosemary for free. You can get rosemary for free because I know in the shops, when you go to the shops, you get about, say, two or three of this. And that's, that's it. Sometimes three, we be lucky. Three, and that's it. But you know what? I got all these for free and I'm so happy about it because, well, the story started last week. I saw this huge, I mean, rosemary um, in our area. And I told my kids, you know what? I want, I want some of this rosemary. <laughs> and they were like, you need to ask, you know, I was like, yeah, I know I need to ask. But then it's um, in front of a flat, a whole big, I mean, flat. And um, I presumed that it wasn't, um, no one had planted it. I, I seen not, it wasn't first living in the flat. So it was maybe the people who take care of the place, because I know in our area, those who take care of the grounds and I mean, everything, they go around planting and all that. So I was like, okay, let me just pluck one to see if it's the one that I want. So I plucked one, took one off, and it's the one that I want, the medicinal one. I didn't want the culinary one because I've planted, um, I mean, I have one of the culinary one here. And you will see it because it's got this very tiny um, leaves, I should say. So they are tinier, the medicinal ones are tinier than the culinary ones. The culinary ones are, I'm talking fast. <sighs> so the culinary ones are flatter than these ones, the medicinal ones. And one difference is when you smell it, the culinary one gives you this nice pungent, I mean, rosemary smell. But when you smell this, it's not so pungent. It's, it's not it's not so strong that's the medicinal one so i'm going to plant some i'm going to regrow some by just taking the part of this off and scraping it then dip it in water for about a week or two to see if i'm going to get the rooting and then put it in the soil and that's it i'll leave it water it every time for about a year i would see growth that's what i that's what i did with the other one that i have planted so now i am going to make oils out of it as well i'm so happy ah oh, rosemary but before then if you want to make anything from it anything aside planting i would say you should rinse it so i'm going to rinse it very well and dry it i would i don't want it dry but i'm going to use tissue to really i mean soak it up soak the water out of on it and um yeah use it for all that i want to use it so subscribe to the channel if you want to know how i use rosemary in so many ways i use it for medicinal purposes for culinary i use it for this is not the one i'm going to use for culinary anyway so yeah if you want to see how i use i mean the herbs in cooking i have a sister channel and that's a santes tv it's our family channel so it's S A N T E S dash TV. And yeah, you can um, search it on YouTube and you will see all the amazing meals that I make, the healthy ones that I make every time. Thank you so much. But do not buy, go and ask. So today I asked for it and the lady was like, oh, yeah, that's what she did. <laughs> Meaning it's not hers. And I could take as much as I could. So I took more. Some have fallen down. <laughs> so, so ask if you see it around maybe a house or a flat or whatever. I mean, this is a whole block of flats. Just ask. And they will ask you to pluck some. It's just rosemary. I mean, it's just rosemary. But then it's very medicinal. So I'm so happy about it. So yeah, guys um i'll leave it to it and um i'll bring more videos on rosemary and how i use it so many ways aside cooking i love you guys thank you so much for stopping by 
if you are new here give me a thumbs up if you like this video if you want more on how i use rosemary just put it in the comment below and how do you use rosemary let me know as well let the conversations begin so yes i'll see you next time bye for me stay safe i love you bye